Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a full home reset. I decided to randomly vlog today because I really love seeing how other people clean and organize their spaces. I always find a little bit of inspiration from it. So I thought I would share my own um, living in a two bedroom apartment with my husband and baby on the way. Um, this is also kind of just like a reset for going into Christmas and then for the new year. I really want to take care of the spaces and just reorganize them so that they're more efficient and practical. The ones that I've kind of been neglecting. I've been a little bit tired as well this past week, so the cleaning hasn't been up to standard, if you know what I mean. So I have a handy dandy list here. Uh, we're going to do a couple of fun things. I am switching over from using like bleach based cleaning products and sprays like Vim and all of those types of things. And I'm gonna start using like a homemade concoction. So we're gonna try and make that today. Hopefully it goes well and works well. I have vinegar. I'm not a fan of how it smells. So I did get some essential oils and hopefully that's just gonna help with like the overall cleanliness smell of the space but I'm super excited for that because I've been just waiting for my regular cleaning products to run out so that I could do this um, but other than that we're going to be cleaning the kitchen and the bathroom I'm going to do a deep dusting of the place as well as vacuum I feel like dust accumulates so fast here just because of the hardwood floors and you can like see little dust bunnies running around so that's what we're gonna be doing. And then we're gonna do some organization, put some stuff into storage, and I'm also going to attempt clearing off our balcony because as you can see, it uh, got snowed on and there is almost two feet of snow kind of like here and then all of that along the railing so I really want to clear that off just so that there's no damage to the balcony itself from the water and ice and I also think that I need to get rid of the furniture out there or at least lean it up against the wall so that it doesn't get moldy so yeah we've got our work cut out for us but I'm super excited because it's so worth it feeling the cleanliness and like just calm piece of a space after it's been cleaned and organized. So with that being said, let's get started.
Okay, so I had to change. It was getting way too warm in that sweater, but we're on to the bathroom now. And typically I do the same clean every single week. I'm just gonna close this because I have Christmas music playing. Um, so what that entails is cleaning the toilet, uh, the countertop, the sink, the cabinet, like doors and drawers, as well as the shower. And then we vacuum and mop the floor as well. And I clean the mirror and the glass doors of the shower. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do today, but my shower cleaning tool, I think I, I shared it in my current favorites video, which I will link right here for you. Um, it's charging because it died last week, so I am just gonna leave that for last. And then I have some organizing and decluttering that I wanna do in here as well. I feel like this is the space where things just kind of accumulate a little bit more quickly and I wanna make sure that there's no expired products in like my back stock. So we're gonna clean first and then declutter. just ran out of our mopping solution it's just from mrs myers um it smells good it works well i like it but i do want to try making my own and i know there's a lot of recipes on the internet but if you guys have like a homemade mopping or soap solution of your own that you really like i would love to hear about it so feel free to comment that down below or you can send me a dm on instagram i'm going to finish up this bathroom and then we are going to move on to decluttering Okay, so what we are tackling today is this. There is some sort of order to it, like we know where things are, but I just feel like there's too much stuff in here and some of it is not going to end up being used. This could also look a little bit nicer. We kind of just throw stuff down here. So we are going to clean that out. And I'm also going to organize this drawer it is a hot mess this is the one that we open and use the most but i do have some products in here that i'm not currently using because of pregnancy i need to see if i'll be able to use them later on but if not i'm just going to give it to my mom and my sister to use um so that's that and then i also just want to organize this a little bit better i did recently organize my makeup so this is as good as it's gonna get for a little while until I get a makeup case, but these two areas could be a little bit more organized. So we have our work cut out for us. It terrifies 
able to move a lot of stuff around get rid of expired products and um, just do a bit of giveaway for my sister and my mom and this is pretty much all that we have left to store underneath the sink so I have extra hair mask products here just easy for me to grab and then next behind that is um, this like facial cleanser and it's also an epilator and then just some extra flossing things at the back we have all the extra body creams and body products that we don't need to use right now but they're still good. And then on the bottom I have basically our restock items that we're definitely going to need. So in the back here I've separated um, deodorants like facial cleansers, makeup products that are not close to expiry that we can use once we run out. And then in the front it's extra skincare products that I am going to use maybe later on or switch out, you know, eventually in my routine. And these ones are also all not close to expiry. So I'm pretty happy with it. And now I just need to go through this drawer because there's less product in it. So now we can make it a little bit more efficient.
Okay, my one day project turned into a two day project because my back and feet were hurting so much yesterday that I could not continue. So JR is putting away our balcony and he's gonna clear off the snow because we're supposed to get more snow um, tonight and tomorrow. So it's probably better that we take a little bit off. And what I'm gonna do is organize this cupboard again it looks a little bit like a disaster it's really just these two sections that i need to figure out a better solution for and then i'm also going to organize our coffee table just inside we have a lot of junk in it um and then i think that's it if we did put the stuff that was here in the hallway into our storage locker um and there's just a couple of other things that we need to get out of this hallway but we do not have a big enough car right now to transfer them, so they'll just have to stay put. But I'm excited to finally be done organizing these spaces. It's been a minute since they've been tidy and neat, so let's get started. This is what we've got going here. I have all of our extra stuff at the top, so extra dusters um, for this Swiffer as well as the duster Swiffer. And then I have extra kitchen stuff, so some brushes and soap for dishwashing and dishwasher pods. These are rags for cleaning, so I've got dirty in the front to clean in the back extra bags. This is all of the sponges and cleaning tools for the bathroom. And then on the bottom shelf, I have our laundry stuff, some extra garbage bags at the back. And then this is where all of the spray bottles and cleaning solutions are going to be. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention I'm going to make that in a minute, but I think it is better than it was before. And at least we know where everything is. And that concludes today's home reset video if you're doing a reset of your own I would love to hear what you guys are doing in your own homes or maybe in some other category of life maybe you are starting a new planner starting a new schedule or a routine I know I'm definitely going to be trying to get into a better more consistent morning routine I think I fell off track when I got pregnant just because of the fatigue and all of that, but I am ready to jumpstart the new year with some better healthy habits. So if you are doing the same, feel free to comment down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I also post a lot of home content on TikTok and Instagram, so feel free to follow over there as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.